Just welcome everybody to the bucket park and the rest of the day. It's a bit, a wee bit damp. Doesn't show up too bad in the monitor, but it's fairly wet here. And the referees uh, going to look to get the game started. It's 2011 McTavish Cup final uh, for William against Canusi. Very, very hard to call which way this is going to go. Interesting for William. We'll start with Chris Bamber, Neil McPhee, and John McDonald midfield. Neil McPhee wins the first throw up. Gordy McKinnon's knocking the ball forward. John McDonald clears the ball forward. First chance for Gary Ennis to get in the end of the ball. It's been hit too hard. Andrew Bothwick in goals, a very experienced goalkeeper. He's not, not the most mobile on his feet, but he's a fantastic stick player. That's a poor hit out from him there. Louis, uh, Louis Monroe knocking the ball forward. Interesting to see Adam Robertson and uh, James Clark both in defence for Fort That would be a little bit pedestrian, I would imagine, today. Paul Gowie knocking the ball at the back post. Chrissy Bamber's going to win that there. First chance for a Canusi shot. Louis Monroe with a shot. Oh, it looks like a good chance here for Fraser Monroe. That's a goal straight away for Canusi. Great play. I think he was quite fortunate that it fell to him. Chrissy Bamber knocked the ball out into a bad area. Louis Monroe knocked it forward. It just fell kindly for Fraser Monroe. And he beat uh, Paul in goals quite readily there. That was unfortunate for young Paul. He had no support. But a horrendous start for, for William. Neil McPhee. To challenging for the ball. Fraser Monroe, who'd be pumped up now, he's played a good ball forward. Stevie Stewart trying to clear the ball forward for William. A good clean hit down the park. The ball missed in the air there by Daniel Stewart and driven back up the field. Duncan Rogers missing the ball in the air there. Can you see her driving on again? Coming out to Dawson. James Clark's bringing the ball away. Looks like Ronald Ross is going to be playing alongside there. Uh, James Clark today, Brian Simpson loses the ball and it gets it back off uh, Young Bothwick, he's driving forward, Gordy McKinnon driving on, he should just drive straight on here and then just look to lay it off to Gary Ennis who must be available, Gary's looking for the ball, this is coming to Gary now and a good clearance from Thomas, Ryan Bothwick there, Chrissy Barron will just look to knock this down the field, Gordy McKinnon's coming across. It's Fraser Monroe, he's everywhere, he hits the ball at the park again. Just can't seem to go wrong at the moment. That's just too much time on the ball there. Good pass in behind Stephen Stewart. Stevie managed to recover, knocks the ball forward. Neil McPhee's looking to try and get this ball forward away. John McDonald's going to hit the ball long again. Guinness going to chase this and you can see the wind just blowing that, carrying it out of play. Paul's a fantastic shy taker, hope I haven't jinxed him, no I haven't, thank goodness for that. Again, that looked like Stevie Stewart was just a little bit slow coming across to get the ball, but a good clearance up the field. Gary Ennis has a wee chance now to do something, but he's on the ground. Lee Bain has been solid since he's come to Canusi. He's only been there two years. He's been uh, really grown into a fantastic player. James Clark's going to have plenty of time to turn around and drive us forward for Froyo. James is an enormous hitter. Can you just see the distance on that? Oh, that's a bad mistake from Lee Bain. He really should have had that. Young Ryan Bothick comes across and saves the date. Neil McPhee's managed to Make another good challenge to Canusi guys on the ground, but it's all very fair. Gordy McKinnon's going to just try this and play it into pass. Daniel Stewart, who's, who has a, got great pace, there's a chance here for William. Brian Simpson just being bullied out of it there. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm not too sure what the ref's given here. I think he. Mm, I don't know what I think he's given a penalty actually to be honest. I think he's maybe going to Canusi kick, which seems a bit odd. Didn't catch that there. I think he's given a penalty. This is interesting. That was from nothing. Canusi had plenty of time to get the ball clear. <coughs> Gary Ennis is taking his helmet off to take this uh, drive at goals. Wind assisted. Super cool individual. I'd imagine he'll just drive us on target. Take his chances. And there, Andrew just managed to stand up to that very really well. It's the best chance uh, William have had. Uh, big, you know, could be a big turning point. It's a penalty from nothing. Didn't really look like a penalty, but uh, fair play to Andrew. He stood there. Dallas going on. Famous, famous, famous name in Canusi. Dallas, plain shinty. It's Martin Dallas. 
Not too sure which of the which of the Dallas ones I know is his son, but we'll see how he plays. John McDonald just trying to push it in the danger zone. Good chance. Another great save from Andy Breathitt. Just well, Daniel we just Daniel Stewart to get a good chance there. Drove it really hard. Couldn't really ask Daniel to do too much more. Andrew Bothwick stood up to it again. Knock it up the other end. Challenge in the midfield, Duncan Rogers wins that quite easily. Daniel Stewart didn't quite manage the tackle. Young Dallas gets the ball. Good first touch for him. Good drive up the, up the forward line. Looking to isolate Adam Robertson. James is just looking to drive us as far as he can. And there you go, way, way past into the forward line. And both of them missed that ball again. But Lee Bain's coming up. Cody McKinnon should be hassling Lee Bain there. Not a great deal of energy there from anybody. It was a bit static. John McDonald is a fantastic player all round, can play in any position. But uh, loses out in the ball there. Good, good click. Ball's knocked back inside. And clever little ball from Chris uh, Bamber out to Neil McPhee. Neil drives it forward, but again, with this wind, it's just going to carry the ball into safety. The deal needs to be hitting somebody. Good opportunity for William just to Chris Bamber knock this 40, 30 yards into the danger zone. William just compete in the air, win the second ball. Ball's going over the top. Good chance for Brian Simpson. Flying both in the fence. He's not a natural defender. Gary Ennis perhaps a little kick there. Quite a big crowd and a lot of rain, unfortunately. But the boys won't notice that. Good wrap around from Brian Simpson. And driven over the top, unfortunately. It'll be interesting to see which way Andrew hits it again. And it's up the other side again. Looking for Lee Bone. Lee Bain to win that. Gordy McKinnon's in there and Neil McPhee doubled up. Good ball in from, that's a better ball from Daniel Stewart, just keeping the ball in play. A little bit of a kick there from Gary Ennis, but he's getting away with it. And it's a silly foul. Um, Ryan Bothwick, who committed the foul there, isn't an out-and-out -out defender. He's normally a fantastic little forward. It's an interesting ploy to play him back there. Um, his strength is certainly in the forward line, so there must be a few injuries in the community camp to have the young lad back there. It's a front post ball. A little bit shorter than they would have wanted. John slips in the, the wet surface. Though there's been a lot of rain here, there's also been drying in from there, so the park's fairly, fairly hard and firm. But the grass on top was get very slimy. Stephen Stewart, did a good tackle there on Wall, just striking him back. James Clark looking to get this here. Uh, that was a, a poor touch from Ronald. Don't often get to say that. Neil McPhee has time now. His opponent's on the ground. Loses the ball though. Again, Thomas Bothwick just puts it in the danger area. There's, there's two or three, four players in there against uh, Craig Dawson and just driven forward again. Gordon McKinnon has a good touch, but Lee Bain comes in, steals it off him. This will be a for William Shy. It's a pensive looking Kinesic defence. I don't know why, I think they should be <laughs> really happy with the 1 0 against this. Strong, strong, strong wind. Fraser Monroe winning that ball there, but knocked it straight back to his opponent, Chrissy Barmer. Chrissy drives it wide for Gary Ennis. Gary Ennis is beaten there by Ian Bothwick quite easily. Gordy McKinnon is trying to come back. Get Fraser Monroe. Fraser Monroe is driving it forward. Cracking shy in there for Gary Monroe. Hey, Fraser Monroe. Good clearance up. Young Thomas Bothwick's competing there with Chrissy Bamber. And uh, Fraser Monroe's fallen over there. He's twisted over on something. I don't know what it was. Just a pitch injury, nothing else. Nobody near him. Gordy McKinnon's going to drive in here, but Thomas Bothwick just uses physique, and then Lee Bain's going to come out with it. Lee likes to run with the ball. He's a good clean hitter, and there you go. Good, good demonstration from Lee there. Craig Dawson's got the ball before Adam. Craig will just knock it in, knock it in, in this corner somewhere. Young Dallas is after it. Stephen Stewart's uh, yeah, he's a lad that was down earlier injured, but he looks he's running freely now. Chrissy Bamber, the ring centre, gets the ball, drives it well forward. And uh, Daniel Stewart is just trying to steal off the back of defender, but uh, can you see Boyd nicked in there, stole it off him. Ronald with a bit of space now, he's out wide, he'll just look to pass it, play himself in. Good pass into Craig Dawson, Dawson with a shot there, blocked. Dawson's got a good shot on him, he's a big lad, he's got a good shot. And again, Adam Robertson diving in on the ground, trying to stop the shot there. It's Joe McDonald and Neil McPhee there, ready to pick up the ball, but a great shy from Paul Gow. And there, Duncan, Duncan Roger Mars to win that ball. Joe McDonald, good pace, good touch, wins it, keeps it in play. Plays the ball a bit straight again though. Brian Simpson's under a bit of pressure to control that. He gets a foul there. Um, I thought that was a bit of a soft one actually. 
So I'll need to hit it round him or over him. Hits it long, long, long to the back post for Gordy McKinnon. And out of play. And I don't know how many times we've seen that ball out of play today from for William. And that was poor from a promising position, I suppose. They'll be looking to isolate Ronald with James Clark and try and uh, use Ronald's pace against James. Ian, Ian both have managed to get a clearance on that. Good hit from young Thomas. Thomas drives it out, but uh, Stephen Stewart's picking up. Martin Dallas has to come across here much quicker than that. Good turn from John McDonald, but Paul Gowd's on his hard on his heels. Hutchie comes back there, and Hutchie's playing in the wing, wing back position, and Hutchie's actually the half forward. Yeah, they just let that ball go. No, what was it? Not too sure what happened there. I don't know who sticks in the park. Is that a spare stick? This guy in this is stick. I think the ball got stuck under Andrew Borthwick's feet there. He was expecting the ball just to run out for a hit out, and it must have got stuck right in the corner of the post there. Generally, rock solid when it comes to shies. Another great shy from Chrissy Bamba. Such an advantage when you've got guys that will hit that ball 40, 50 yards in the shy. A lot of space here for Hutchie. Young Thomas drives it forward from a good knock down from Hutchie. We've got Ronald Ross against James Clark. James has uh, pushed him over there, that's definitely a foul. So again, that's a, a fairly cheap foul. Ronald's got his back to goals, he's out in the sidelines. Gives uh, the Houston defence to just restructure, come out, get a breather. And a chance for Canucci to try and lay this off to Ronald. Hutchie's going to go round the outside, Craig Dawson's just waiting for somebody else to make a move. Paul Gow's had a run. Dawson's having another run. Rawls made his one run. Ball comes to Rawls, strikes it, good strike, and it's 2 0. Rawls, Rawls had the chance of the shot, but it just managed to, uh, James Clark managed to get stuck in there, just deflected off to young Dallas on the edge of the box. And it, I don't, don't know where his marking was, but that's, uh, you know, it's tough on the goalie in there. Both goals are coming from the edge of the box, and he's not going to see the ball. 2 0 against this strong wind, and, you know, with all that pressure that from William had now. It's going, to be, it's going to be difficult for them now, very difficult. They need to show an awful lot of uh, determination here. Paul Gow's charging in there, trying to get on that ball off Neil McFee, and he does well. Again, comes back to Duncan Rose. Duncan chips it forward to Daniel Stewart to chase after it. This defence will be extremely tenacious just now for this next five, ten minutes. Gary Ennis is outnumbered there, but Lee Bain loses it to Gordy McKinnon. Gordy's going to take a strike. A good click from Lee Bain. He came back quickly. Good strike from Lee Bain into the wind. Look out of the park, perhaps. Yeah, the wind's just dragging that away. Can you see? will just look to get the second ball. Whoever wins the first ball, they'll just look to get the second ball and just take the shot if it bounces in a dangerous area. Adam Robertson's drive was blocked there by uh, Craig Dawson. James Hutchinson drives it into the box. James Clark's in front of Ronald this time, but uh, boy, Dallas has stolen it again off James Clark. Good strike, and he's driven that high over the bar. That was a good chance. Good chance. James Clark did everything right there. Came across in front of Ronald Ross, but a young lad, very sharp, comes across, steals it off James. Had a good five yards in the zone to take that shot there from round about the penalty area. It's just a low ball into Gary Ennis's feet. Gary will just look, turn, shoot if he can. There he goes. Oh, he's gone too wide now. Yeah, he just, I think he had the chance when he had it there, he should have taken the chance. When he come out to get the ball, just touch it once and hit it. Went a bit too wide there and then he was hitting the ball as it was going away from the goal. Difficult, uh, difficult thing to do there. For William, just have to get this next goal and they have to get it before half time. Just need a little bit of magic from Gary Ennis. That's come off to the side, that's gone the wrong way, but Neil McPhee's there, knocked it back to... Uh, John McDonald said, mate, that would have worked well, but it was entirely accidental. John might look to just drive this in. Oh, that's a goal. That's an own goal, I think, there. Yeah. It was just going wide there, and it, it took a knock off of the full back, I think. It's knocked in in goals. Fraser Monroe yet again, trying to knock this in. Knussi will just look to get the second ball. Neil McPhee wins that. Falls nicely for Chris Bamber. Chris will, unlike him, a poor hit. Straight to his opponent, Fraser Monroe. Fraser knocks it forward. Duncan Rose had a chance there to take that ball down. Duncan's a big hit of the ball and a big drive from Duncan. It's just what you'd expect to see from him. Gary Ennis is after this. Up against Steve Both That's a better ball from Gary. He's played that quicker rather than the, sometimes been dallying a little bit. That was a quicker ball. But well taken by Gary Monroe. He's knocked up the field to Fraser Monroe. Another shy in the halfway line. 
the spell must take an awful lot of shies today. And Count's building up quite quickly here. Another cracking shy. Lee Bain misses that in the air, so does Gary Monroe. Daniel Stewart drives it across the box. Knocked down there. Brian Simpson with a, oh, a good chance, but very difficult to take. It's, you can see it's above his shoulder there. If he's hit that on target, you've got to think he's going to score from there. But, uh, he wasn't really under any pressure either there. He needs to impose himself, win all these balls and knock them deep. John McDowell's just knocked into Gary and is trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Gary needs to just turn and shoot, take the shot. I was just going wide there. Oh, look. Looked like it might have been offside there. Look at the ball coming out of the box. But I, and Ian Bothwick had a chance to clear that ball and didn't. That was, you know, he has to get that ball out of there. You have a chance, you have to get rid of it. Again, this ball's just bobbing about the edge of the box here. It's causing all sorts of mayhem. Ball was coming across. Gonna have some contact. Gordy's looking to take this quickly, Gordy McKinnon. Again, Gary and just all looking to try and get free. John McDonald's going down the left hand side, coming to John now. Paul Gow's tracked him back, but John's still there. Good chance, good save from Andrew Bothwick. Gordy McKinnon's been muscled out of it. That ball just needs to go for a corner from here. And yeah, that's a hit out actually, because uh, the PC boy went to hit it out and Gordy McKinnon's hit it out for a Hutch is gonna look to get it from here, but you know, Duncan Roger has it. Good ball in from Duncan, keeps the ball in play. Daniel miscontrols it. Gary Monroe, a good clean hit. She tried to compete with Duncan Roger, couldn't get it. And Thomas Bosbeck drives it forward to Ronald. It's off the top of Ronald's head there, that's hit his helmet. Nothing wrong with that. Good tackle from James Clark. Yeah, he's close to him and whatnot, but he's not fouling him. Daniel Stewart, good, good quick hands there from Daniel. And that's a foul for Gary Monroe going to ground, I think. He's in. Again, Chris Palmer looking to tee this up for someone. Walks in, Gordy McKinnon in the back post. That was unfortunate. Gary has with a shot. That's a good goal there. You can see that was just coming there. It's just coming. Came off the back of Gordy McKinnon's shoulder. Dropped down to Gary and it's again what I can say and just looking for that second ball. Ball comes to Gary. He's driven it. It's hit off uh, one or two can you see players near the internet. net. Andrew Bothwick had no chance there. There you go, half time. 2-2. Two -two. Um, the neutrals, good game. Yeah. Um, interesting. What difference the wind will make to Canusi? Will they be able to get more possession of the ball as it was there? James Hutchison there trying to get the ball. And Neil McPhee deemed to have been committing a little foul. Thomas with a high ball forward. Away the ball's gone. Yep, it's gone. That's a good, good big hit from James Clark. That's a great hit, actually. I don't know, maybe. We missed touching that wind, but certainly like in the first half it was uh, a big wind advantage. Rogers wins the ball, he has a good chance of playing it forward. Gets it, Thomas Bothwick will feel better for that. Felt again, you see there how he's hit it straight at the other end of the park. Andrew Bothwick's first chance to hit the to get hit out. Yeah, and he's hit that a long way. So that James Clark is obviously getting a good hit into the wind, but uh, Andrew Bothwick is took a He's put 20 yards on his own goal hit out in this first half. First, first well taken ball from Paul Gower, took it in the run. And Dallas looking to pass it to Ronald. Ronald's looking it through for him. Thomas Bothwick. Thomas is running forward. He's just trying to chap it into the danger area. Stephen Stewart's going to come across and deal with this. Ah, it was well played from Stephen. He just dummied the, the first player. Neil McPhee running over the top of somebody there. Again, falling into it for William. Neil McPhee will be lurking close by, looking to get this ball. It's going beyond him. Stephen Stewart was muscled out of that. Roll comes to Roll Ross. Roll knocks across to Craig Dawson. Hutchie's running past him. Craig Dawson takes a shot, and yeah, that was a good drive. But it looks like it was like well off target. But a good run from James Hutchison, who uh, took away a bit of space over him to allow that shot. Again, Neil McPhee at full centre, be looking to try and get this. He's going across the field, looking for Chris Bamber. Chris Bamber. Fouled uh, Fraser Monroe, you're not allowed to uh, play the stick before the ball. So he's basically knocked the football and stick out the way of the. So he knocked the Canusi ball out the way of the stick, so you're not allowed to do that. Thomas Bothwick looking where he's going to play it. Again, that's a better ball. Driven low to Ronald. Ronald's going to turn here, drives it across the box and to Craig Dawson. Craig's going to have to look for a pass. He turned, oh, he's going to take the chance to shoot. He's off target again. He just drop this short, he doesn't want to hit it too long. Yeah, that's a good ball, just knocks it short. Somebody else can come and get it. Dawson comes to pick it up, good touch. James Hutchinson's time to look, plays it in the space. 
unfortunately Fraser Monroe had gone forward but he, he forgot to uh, make sure that he was going to get the ball there. Adam Roberts with a good clean hit from Adam up to Brian Simpson. Brian a good touch, knocks it straight forward. Gary Ennis has got uh, Daniel Stewart running past him. He's too slow there Gary but they've still got possession. Neil McPhee, he'll run all day. Good touch from Neil. Lee Baines read that though. If Lee takes a strike here, Lee will put this up the other end, no problem at all. Well done by Gary Ennis, but Hutchison's in there. Hutchison has it out to Ronald Ross. Ronald's going to have a wee look here, looking to lay it. Good pass, but it's a bit slow in the grass, so Fraser Monroe takes a strike. Good save from Paul and goals. Felix is his nickname, cylinder 21, cracking goalkeeper. Blameless for the two goals. That's a good bit. He'll be happy to get a save there. Fraser Monroe will just be looking to knock this in. We've seen Dallas come across to the right hand side there. It's Duncan. Duncan Rogers doing quite well into John McDonald. Brian Simpson's just let that run. Gary Ennis has come out for it. Gary, we're happy further out there. And a good tackle from both of them actually. Ian Bothwick doing quite well. Gordy McKinnon knocks it around the corner. Daniel Stewart's looking for it. Don't know quite sure what Darwin was doing there. He might be going for the shot. But it's come out to Ryan Bothwick who's looking to just play this ball safely up the line. Clever play from him. Just uh, just knocking it past. Young Thomas doing really well and uh, Neil McPhee coming across there. It was a pretty robust there for Neil. Um, I suppose Neil would say he got there as quick as he could. Now he's got a yellow card. He needs to be sensible about that some of his tackles that he will commit. Because if he gets one wrong in this sort of wet day to day, he'll be under pressure. Ronald's looking to turn here with a shot. Oh, from where I was sitting, that looked like it went in there. Young Paul, obviously in goals, was confident he didn't raise his stick. Well driven forward there. Lee Bain stumbles. Gordy McKinnon steals off and Gordy's just going to drive through. Fraser Monroe comes across there. And good chasing from Fraser, but he's let it ball go forward there. Brian Simpson not sharp enough there. Brian Simpson looking to play the ball across the park. Good tackling from Gordy McKinnon. Ryan Bothwick's been in a good shift at the moment. Paul Gow wins that tackle. Hutchie's there. Hutchie's nicked the ball round there. Boy Dallas has done well again. Duncan Roger looks like he's fouling there, hand on the back. Yeah. Can you see just building a little bit of steam now? Man, the referee's quite happy with that. I think it was pretty fair. It was a good tussle. You know, if he misses it in the air, but it comes to Chrissy Bamba. Chrissy with another good clean hit up the park. Drives it up to Daniel Stewart. Daniel drives it into Brian Simpson. Brian's gonna he should just run in here. Ah, the, the pitches with the amount of rain we've had. I think some of the boys maybe got moldies on rather than the the wet ground studs is getting pretty slippy out there. Ball up the middle of the park, good ball from Dallas, knocks into Ronald. James Clark's not got the pace for Ronald. Ronald's got time to set himself now. Oh no, well done from Adam Robertson, the old head. You can always rely on Adam to put in a fantastic shift. We'll just look to drop this in somewhere. Yeah, sensible ball across. Good run from Gary Monroe, um, Fraser Monroe, Fraser into Dallas. Dallas tries to try and knock it round the corner, but Stephen Stewart sensibly knocks it wide to Chris Palmer. Chrissy with another crack and drive up the park. Chris is finding a bit of space in between his midfield and the defence. Though he's playing in the defence, he's uh, in the midfield, he's picking up a lot of good ball off the defence. Thomas Bothwick looking like he's a little bit, should have hit that ball a little bit harder. John McDonald trying to get for William back from the front foot again. Out to Gordy McKinnon. Gordy will run all day, tackle all day. I think that's probably what Graham Cam, the referee, is saying. Look, got your foul. What more do you want? Rhino's going to cross to have a word with John. Probably tell him just cool down. Gary Ennis will take the shot from there. Good save from uh, Andrew Bothwick. Ball's all over the place. And just needs to go for a corner. Yeah. Gary Ennis just looking again. Uh, looking for Gary Ennis, but it comes to Brian Simpson. Brian takes a shot. See for William just when they're getting the chances, they're just gonna just gonna take shots. They're not too sure when they're gonna see the ball again, so they're just taking the shots nice and early. For William have moved about a little bit. Brian Simpson's gone into full forward. Kenny has gone into wing back. Yeah, uh, wing wing forward. Guys just looking for some more space. James Clark trying to out muscle Ronald here in front of the goals. Ronald's got it through, he's looked for the pass again. Fraser Monroe's a little bit wide for the shot, so he's gonna turn it back inside. Hutchison's taking to take the swing, but he's still a little bit too wide as well. It's another pass. Fraser Monroe's going to try and run across the goals. Comes to, Ro comes to Ronald. Oh, Ronald should have scored there. But Craig Dawson follows up and scores. Good save from Paul Mackay. He was lucky to save that from the range that Ronald was at. Ronald, you'd normally expect Ronald to just 
take the net off the back of the net. But uh, no, Craig Dawson, the right place, the right time. Young Paul unprotected at the back. Good play from Fraser Monroe. Fraser joined the attack, ran across the defence, looking for a foul or looking for anything. Came to Ron. Ron had a good strike. Not as not as normal. Normally you wouldn't see that. Uh, Paul, Paul had a good save. Came back out towards the edge of the box. For what you're looking for, Craig Dawson was called offside. I don't think he was offside, and Craig Dawson just knocked in the rebound. Good finish. Odd, isn't it? That Kinsey had all that pressure, had nothing. For him, had two or three chances, and then Kinsey had one chance and score. This just depends on just turning so quickly in these games. Gordon McLean coming in there. Gary Monroe, very strong tackle. Because see Bamber doesn't equate quite a good enough hit there. But and then Hutchie, some of the players just getting a little bit tired. I think the first thing to go. When they're getting tired, you see the hit and goes. So that's the first thing. Gary Ennis knocking it forward, but Andrew Gothwick's just going to let that go by. Hit that one short for Fraser Monroe to come back, pick it up. He picked it up, knocked it forward. And Dallas tried to get that there, but missed it. And falls to Duncan Roger, who's just going to launch it up the other end. Brian Simpson's tackling with Ian Bothwick. Gary Monroe's coming back to help him, his colleague out. Ball's just coming out to this near side. Fra oh. Fraser Monroe's picked that ball up. Gary, Chris Bamber, who's marking him, needs to be a lot closer to him. Rawls got the ball wide, just knocks it inside again. Craig Dawson's got the ball. Good one, two, good one, two here. Chance for Ronald to finish it. Oh, what's he doing? He didn't hit that hard enough. He was just looking to just chop that one target. If I didn't know any better, I think Ronald's injured. As he'll hit it left side, right side, from close in. Again, just a slight, slight into Daniel Stewart. Daniel's knocked it back to Chris. Cody Mc... Brian Simpson's there, but ah, he's just got himself too narrow. John McDonald's looking at the front post ball, but he's not getting anywhere. It's just covered. Ah, nothing, you know. Nobody on Ian both at the rest of some pressure on him, so. We're up the other end just with one clean hit. Stephen Stewart wins the ball, puts it back into the midfield. Neil McPhee tried to knock that on, but young Thomas managed to get closer to him that time, wins it into Hutchison. James Hutchison and uh, Duncan Roger wins that. That's more like Duncan driving his team forward. Duncan's a captain today, so he's got a lead by example. Daniel Stewart, good pass into Gary Ennis. Gary Ennis a 1 2 with Daniel. Daniel's got to drive in here. No, Lee Bain just knocks him out of the way. He's a big, strong lad. Low set of the gravity. Good, good ball skills. Hutchison's putting in a big effort to get there and help him out and does so. But Neil McPhee comes across and Neil wants to stand the same side as Fraser, so they're arguing. The referee needs to just decide on this. If there's any sense, he can just chase the two of them away and get another two. Fraser Monroe's holding his ground. He's refusing to move. Neil McPhee's refusing to move. The referee's moved the ball infield. That didn't solve anything. That was a cop out by the ref there. Neil McPhee's got about six inches on Fraser Monroe, so he's always going to win that. I don't know why another QC player didn't come in there. Young Thomas is all over the park, apart from full centre. Gary in it. Um, I think game today, though. Do fair him. Doesn't get anything wrong so far. Hutchie's good touch. Duncan managed to get his feet in the way there. Ronald's just going to hold on to this. James Clark's just driving on through. I'm not really convinced that was much of a foul there. I think James is such a big lad. James Clark, first hit out for a while. Good strong hit out. Out to the sideline. John McDonald does fantastically well. Gary Ennis also. Gary's going to take a wee run here. A young Ryan fouled him there, but the ref's playing advantage. I think he fouled him again, and there's a foul going to come. Now Gary's, Gary's a good lad. So there's to be nothing in that. There'll be nothing in that. Thomas doesn't have to get involved there. There's nothing to do with him. Here we go, Brian Simpson with a work move here. Brian Simpson with a good strike. And uh, good, good footwork from Andrew. Both of them goals there. Brian Simpson's knocked it in there, didn't get any pace on it. Daniel Stewart was very close in attendance there. But, but again, that's James on a, on a thin ice. Hutchie's got the ball in nice and low. He's going to take the drive. Good tackle from Duncan Roger. Oh! Craig Dawson just couldn't reach that ball. Not a bad pass from Hutchie. I don't think Craig was expecting that. Great, great result again. James Clark tried to win that there, but it bounces nicely to James Hutchison. Rawls in a bit of space here. But uh, Chris Bamber deep in his own half. Yeah, Neil McPhee read that well. Thomas is giving it straight back to Ronald. Nobody's picking up Ronald. Ronald's going to get a chance to drive. Super strike. Great save, I think, there from Paul. That's offside of the ball. He's in the box because the Knusie guy lying in the box. 
that's offside. He really should have just rolled himself. I mean, it's easy to say, but he should have rolled himself off the park there. It was pointless lying in the ground on the box. He's just stopping his team from getting a chance to score there. John Daniel, that's more like Daniel now. He's expecting to shoot from here. He's had a good touch, good shot. Yeah, Gary Monroe managed to block that there. Good play from Gary Monroe. Gordy McKinnon with a good turn. He has to get the shot away quickly. Can you see her in there quickly, Bain, while we flick out? Gary Monroe's going to drive onto this ball if he can. But uh, Brian Simpson's there. Brian's looking for John McDonald. And that's just safe, safe, safe play from Lee Bain. Just knock it out. Michael Lafayette's a play with a goal here to get back in it. Good one, Chrissy. Good shy in there. Oh, Gary Man Fraser Monroe just, you know, just lacking a little bit of composure in there. He had the ball. He missed it. He accidentally kicked it. Wasn't intentional, but nonetheless, that's a foul. Just, just need to relax a wee bit better, more. Just relax and take their time. Gordon McKinnon here looking for the, the, the work move from, from training. Knocks it in the corner, that's too easy for Lee Bain. Lee just knocks it up. Chrissy Bamber and Fraser Monroe are going to compete for this. Chrissy volleys that back into a good area. Oh, oh, Gary Monroe there. I'm not too sure that was not too sure that was particularly meant right enough. It's not Gary's nature there. That's another kick there from Gary Monroe. Again, an, an unneeded kick. Daniel didn't mean it, of course, but just just lacking a little bit of composure. Just need to settle down. Can you see just need to settle down? And for him, this. Yeah. That'll be Fraser Monroe just uh, saying something to the referee that's not uh, acceptable. You know, another you know, silly, silly yellow card. Oh, that and, and the worst thing is it was so quite obviously a, a kick, wasn't it? I mean, there's just no doubt about that, so there's no point in arguing about it. <laughs> Looking for Gary Innes again. Looking for Gary, but John McDonald's come forward. John's taking a touch. Ball's just looking to lay this ball off. Fraser Monroe's made an incredible run around the opposite wing, but uh, John McDonald steals that there, knocks it well down the park. Gary Ness has come out and got the ball, dragging Ian Bothwick out. Good trick from Gary, round Ryan Bothwick. Thomas Bothwick's there. Good strike from Gary Ennis, but a good save. And Gordy McKinnon will be just kicking himself there because Andrew saved that. It came out to thank you, uh, Gordy McKinnon. He could have just, if he just like, uh, just managed to control that. You know, Alex Duncan there, great gifted player for William on the bench. They've got a good bench for William if they use it. Brian Simpson knocks that in there. Gordy McKinnon, a good tackle on Lee Bain. Brian Simpson picks up the pieces. Brian goes over far too easily. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was a good opportunity to stay on his feet. Didn't do it. Balls out of play. Big clean hit. Drive it up the other end. Right down and into Ronald there. Ronald knocks it down the corner to uh, Craig Dawson. He has a good game today, Craig. I know I've been advocating that he comes off to put fresh legs on, but he's had a good game. He's holding the ball up well. He's uh, getting the ball before Adam. Again, oh dear, what's going on there? Nobody on all Ross. James Clark has gone to sleep there. Again, it's Fraser Monroe who's gambled. Fraser Monroe's in there. He's joined up in the forward line. I'm not too sure if he was, if that was actually a pass into Ronald or not, but it, it's just come to Ronald right at the edge of the box. There's nobody within... Five uh, ten yards, he and he's just done what a quality striker yeah. does. He, he hasn't taken a swing at it, he hasn't lashed at it, he's just passed it into the back of the net round the side of the goalkeeper. No. But that's the danger when you have uh, when, when Ronald's playing deep there, he's, he's getting in behind, he's, he's a bit of a stealth approach there to that at the back post, and he had nobody on him. Yeah, the young lad Dallas looks like he's struggling as well, so I would think. They just need to get some legs on there to make for William stretch for William, keep the ball down the other end. They've got two goal lead. Use it. Lee Bain using great strength. Nothing in that. Gary Ness was just came charging in there at the back of Lee. Lee looks like he's going to get a bit of cramp. Lee's been missing a few games this year. And um, for Craig Dawson to get a possession. Craig will look to hold on to it. Oh, it's a good chance for Dallas. And that's a, it's no goal because nobody touched that there. It's well, it was well done by Paul Mackay and the football and goal. It's clever thinking. Just let the ball run into the net. Duncan Rogers missing the ball there. Comes to Neil McPhee. Neil McPhee pushes it forward. Gary Monroe drives in in front of Ryan Campbell. Ryan was unlucky there. John McDowell plays the pass out to Chris Bamber. Chrissy just skims off the side of his stick. Neil McPhee's in to make the tackle again, but again. 
as Duncan Roger knocking out to John McDonald. John's knocked it in the corner. Gary is after this. Again, can you see guys just need to be sensible? Gary's running with the ball here. He's going to get the chance to shoot. No, Lee Bain's been a super tackle, but it comes to Ryan Campbell, the new lad. And another another block from the Knussi. Knussi are now going to, you know, they're going to put the body in the line here right the way to the final whistle. It's been a good game. It's been a good game. Long ball at the back post. Brian Simpson doesn't quite get a hold of that. Another, just another slight mistake from Ryan Bothwick there. But uh, uh, Fraser Monroe with a silly, silly backward swing there. He's got the ball away, he doesn't need to worry about it. Game's 4-2, no point in getting involved in anything else. Rollins has got the brains to just sit on this. Puts it into Craig Dawson. Craig will just hold it as well. Looking for Fraser Monroe to come charging up the wing here at some point. As Hutchie's just going to draw it back to Rollins to the edge of the box. Stephen Stewart's just been robbed. Comes to James Clark. James going to look to try and just knock this out. And that's the uh, final whistle there. It's a good game, I think. Uh, yeah, it could have went any way at 2-2, but uh, towards the end, I think you see worthy winners. Good game, good sportsmanship. Yeah, a lot of bookings probably not deserved, but that's a good game. Absolutely delighted. I was really close for a while. We got 2-0 ahead and uh, we thought we were going to be comfortable and for a week back at us. So uh, we had to win the second half and took advantage of it and obviously delighted to, to win the uh, McTavish Cup. Yeah, and the uh, conditions? The conditions were heavy, you know. It's, uh, it was drizzling just like the Cameron Cup final last year. We, we managed to adapt to them better probably in the end. And uh, I mean, it, it made for, for difficult shinty to try to get the ball down and pass it and it was quite heavy. But uh, we managed to get in the end. So obviously. Delighted, yes. Absolutely delighted. Deb. You know, any game against Fort Williams tough and for us to go 2 nothing up against the wind, we thought we were we weren't home and dry, but we were starting to think that way. But uh, you know, for William, uh, through fighting spirit, came back, made it two all, which you know we went in, we went in quite happy at two all at half time. You know, against the wind, thought a strong wind behind us, came out the second half, hoping that we'd camp in the Fort William half, but it never materialised that way. Uh, and of course, uh, Dossie, uh, Craig Dawson scored the third goal. And by that point, Ronald hadn't scored by then, so we knew fine we, were, we had one coming from Ronald anyway. 
So we were we were feeling quite safe at that point. But you know, you know, we can never rule for William out. You know, especially with likes of Gary Ennis up front. You know, he can make a goal out of nothing. And the conditions didn't uh, affect you too much? No, it was a bit skitey, you know, this bit slippy underfoot conditions, you know, for some of the players who were sliding all over the place. But other than that, there was a reasonable breeze down down the park. But, you know, you know the plain surface was very good. I 